Welcome. Today we'd like to share with you a demonstration of a new tool we've been working on at MathJax. This new tool is a full math accessibility solution built to work with any screen reader. It includes on-the-fly speech text generation, highlighting and exploration of a rendered mathematical equation. Like any MathJax project, this tool is open source and only depending on MathML and standard web APIs. Please note this is work in progress so various minor and major bugs might remain. However, we are very interested in getting your feedback as early as possible, so please try out our demo and let us know about any issues you encounter. We are planning the first release for the end of this year. For this demo, I am using a standard virtual machine from modern.ie so that you are able to reproduce these results easily on your own system. In this case, I'm using a Windows 10 VM for testing Microsoft Edge. Our goal is to enable any combination of screen reader, browser and operating system. Of course, that's very challenging and we have not yet achieved full coverage. For our most recent test results, please see the GitHub Wiki page linked to in the notes to this video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a page using Window Eyes and Microsoft Edge. You can find the URL to the test page in the notes to this video below. Both Edge and Window Eyes are already running, so once I switch to the VM you will hear oral rendering starting. I will mostly cut off the screen reader to keep this video short and focus the demonstration on the interaction with our accessibility tool. So let's get started. First, examples. let's refresh the page to see that we're on a live setting. Left, R. Great. Let me quickly describe the page. If you can't see this, there is a text area that is for simple tech input, just for convenience to test out examples. There is also a selection of pre-written examples so that it's easier to pick up the same code across different setups. Finally, there are some options for the accessibility tool itself but I won't get into these today. Please feel free to play with them and give us feedback on how they're working for you. Finally, there is a target area for the output so that it's easier to keep in check what's actually happening there. To start off, let's pick one of the examples, an easy one. Left, select one expanded combo bar, quadratic formula left. Great. Quadratic formula closed. Thanks, window eyes. We're shutting you off. I'm picking the quadratic formula because it's an easy enough equation so that it's easy for anybody to check that the voicing is actually correct and that the voicing corresponds to the highlighted expression, especially when you're navigating sub-expressions. To activate our accessibility tool, we need to actually focus the equation. To do this, we can simply use tab because MathJax has been putting its elements into the tab order since version 2.6. Given the setup of this page and we're already on the combo box, we just need three tabs to get there. Key button. Type set button. Group. As you can see, Window Eyes is actually not announcing anything. Other browser and screen reader combinations will announce a role equal math. I mean a math role, ARIA role. We are working on a more generic notification system so that users will actually become aware that the accessibility tool is available in a page. To start the accessibility tool, we have to switch the screen reader's mode. Most screen readers have various mode to interact, modes to interact with a web page. In this case, we are using window eyes and we want to switch out of the browse mode. To do this, the default key combination is control shift and a so let's try and do this browse mode not available all right it tells us browse mode is not available that's good enough for me to start the accessibility tool we simply hit shift and space x equals start fraction negative b plus or minus start root b squared minus 4 c and root over to end fraction great we've seen we've heard some voicing and if you're seeing this you'll notice that the expression has been highlighted. And in fact, for debugging purposes, this demo page inserts the speech string into the page at the bottom of the page. 
in the DOM itself, we are using an ARIA live region that gets updated with the recent, uh, with the currently active speech string, so that when you're navigating the page, the screen reader will pick up on the new context. To navigate the expression, we simply use the arrow keys. We go up and down in the different levels of the expression, and we go left and right to explore an individual level. These levels are generated not just from the MathML that's underlying the rendering, but the accessibility tool also applies semantic heuristics to generate additional information and make a more meaningful expression possible. Since we are at the top of the expression, we can only go down a level, so let's do this by hitting the down key. X. Great. Since we just went a level down, we are at the leftmost position, so we can only really go to the right. Equals. Mm -hmm. And again. Start fraction negative b plus or minus start root p squared minus 4 sc and root over to a end fraction. Great. If we go further, you will notice nothing will happen. So let's try right again. We will be working on a notification system that indicates that you've reached the edge of the expression. Now, this fraction was still a mouthful, so let's try to dive a little deeper and switch to the next lower level by hitting down. Negative b plus or minus start root p squared minus 4 sc and root. That's great and much easier to comprehend. We could go further down, but let's switch to the other part of the fraction. Two up. Great. Now, if you're a visual user, you will have noticed that the highlighting actually corresponds to meaningful parts of the expression, not just highlighting everything that's below it in the MathML tree, but actually the meaningful rendered expression completely. At this point, with the 2A being actively selected, you might notice that as a visual user, it's relatively easy to discern that this is actually meaning 2 times A. Because you have visual cues like the 4AC in the top of the fraction, and you can actually guess as much from the visual perception. For an oral rendering, that's usually not enough. And in fact, our semantic heuristics do provide additional information, even though if you look at to the source, the MathML source or the tech input, this information is not actually available. So if we explore this 2A further, we can actually find out whether it is a single identifier or in fact something more complex. So let's go down a level. Two. And explore this. To the right. Chimes. A. You've heard and seen that there's an invisible times that is being voiced. And this actually indicates that we have a multiplication. Again, this is something that wasn't in the original source and is being supplied by the accessibility tool to provide a more meaningful rendering, both visually in terms of highlighting and orally. Great, so we've reasonably enough ex explored this expression. If we want to leave the accessibility tool, we simply hit the escape key. This brings us back to the overall page level and we can navigate as we're used to. So this was a demo of window eyes and our new accessibility tool on Microsoft Edge. Window eyes works across all browsers, in fact. So if you use Chrome or Firefox, it will work just as well. It also works through different uh, versions of Windows. Um, but we're still working on IE support, which is a little trickier given certain limitations of that platform. As I said before, you can find a link in the description that brings you up to speed to the currently supported systems and what kind of output you can expect. Please feel free to explore this test page and our tools and let us know what we can do better and what has been working well for you. Thanks so much. Share. Sure.